Welcome back to my video series about Valiant Hearts The Great War. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the gameplay, which honestly and wholeheartedly is maybe the weirdest part about this game to analyze. So think about it from the developer's perspective. They've made a game about war, but for not an insignificant amount of this game, you're basically mimicking gameplay mechanics that you'd find in Guitar Hero. So what's really happening here? It's really, really weird. So what is the purpose behind this? You know, let's dive into that. Like, how does this mimic what we've been talking about when it comes to recognizing that the war is the enemy? Is there a way that that's doing that? So this is another way that the game's using juxtaposition as a way to drive home its point. So for you know, the better part of 10-15 minutes, you might be tasked with rebuilding your taxi so you can drive Parisian troops to the front. And as you can see here, and maybe even hear it in the background, the can-can's playing. But then seconds after you finish that drive, you're tasked with curing a man who's been shot while fighting while bodies and horses are dead in the background. It's this really sharp turn. And I think the fact that the gameplay actively asks you to ignore fighting and use mechanics like this is a choice that reflects this message. So then let's, you know, peer at some examples of what the gameplay is actually like. A lot of you probably haven't played this game. That's totally all right. Let's see what the game looks like in action. So this scene here, as in the scene I've mentioned, Anna's searching for a wrench to turn on a water spout so she can cool down her taxi's engine. This is part of the puzzle aspects. She's searching around, you're trying to find different clues and you're trying to find the right wrench in order to do that. But then here, as I messaged before, she's using this timing guitar hero style prompt in order to heal somebody. And in a number of different places, she's actually using this to uh, amputate limbs or remove bullets while the soldier in her arms is crying. Then here you have Emil charging into battle, literally avoiding artillery fire by dodging and weaving through the shell's landing paths. These gameplay mechanics are about saving lives and avoiding war. And maybe a, uh, this might be covered a little bit more in the story aspect, but an interesting part of it is it often is used as a way to emphasize the destruction around it. So, you know, let's take a look here where uh, Anna is attempting to find a series of trapped civilians and rescue them from uh, this bell tower or this church. And it shows she has to climb to the top here to then ring the bell and have the bell come crashing down into the basement below. Again, this is a game where you would expect with war all around it, there's shooting or gunfire. And often that is used against its heroes, but it's not actively used by the heroes. Again, just for emphasis point, you don't shoot people in this game. And we're going to touch about this a little bit more in the story video coming up, but maybe most importantly, as you're grabbing dynamite to blow up trenches and caves and the like, these are moments where your character does have to kill. In fact, it is a war game. Half the people that you deal with are troops. There is killing, but it's used as a story device and as an emphasis point to react to how distraught your heroes truly are about this. So, again, we've been talking about this for the video series. This game uses all aspects of itself to make a point. And that point is this. The war itself is the enemy here. 
it's not the Germans, it's not the French, it's not the Brits, it's not the Americans. It's the war itself. All of these people that are involved are civilians or nurses or soldiers, but all of them are just looking to survive the conflict. So as we continue to dive in this, I hope you kind of keep this part in mind. Even gameplay, which might just be a series of choices of how do you get through certain parts of this game or how do you complete the next objective, there's not shooting here, and there's not warfare in its explicit sense. It's fetching and timing and weaving and dodging to survive and to help others survive.